back to my channel. Guys, home sweet home. If you watch my videos or if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I just came back from camping and I got back on Sunday. But yesterday was 4th of July, so I was spending time with my family, cousins, and friends. So I am finally back and it feels so good to be home. Um, just, I woke up, I slept in a lot uh, just today and I cleaned a lot. So I'm actually filming a little later than I normally do. But here I am sitting in front of the camera and I am so happy to be back. Um, when, so at the campsite, I didn't have any service. Uh, I, absolutely I absolutely couldn't um, use the internet. So you know, it was definitely a good opportunity for me to just bond with my friends, my boyfriend, and just like the nature, you know. But um, then Sunday on our way back, you know, I stopped by McDonald's and we had service there. Obviously, you know, McDonald's. So when I was able to finally go on the internet, and I, you know, I was looking through like the comments, Instagram, everything, and I, I don't know why I was like, oh my god, I can't believe, I, like I didn't notice until I got the internet back. I was like, oh my god, I missed this so much. I miss being connected to YouTube so much. And also, I don't know, I was very happy. It was a good, really good moment. I was just taking literally like 30 to an hour in McDonald's just reading the comments and all that. So um, I was very happy and now I'm back and I'm glad that I get to, you know, kind of get back on schedule again. Today's menu is jambalaya, jambalaya pasta. Um, the first, only the jambalaya pasta I ever tried was at Cheesecake Factory and they use those like linguine or did you just like regular pasta? The regular it's like linguine or something like linguine. It's not spaghetti pasta, I think it's linguine. But today I'm using penne and I am making creamy jambalaya which means I am add, you can add I know that normally people add uh, heavy cream but I couldn't find this on gonna stick with half and half. So I might not even add the cream because I'm using Cajun sauce and if it tastes fine, it tastes good, I'm not even going to add it. So yeah, let's start. My pan has some oil and I want to start sauteing bell peppers and some uh, red onions. Let's going to saute them together. Okay, if you want, you could add the Cajun sauce right now. So every time, Ooh. just add some. But definitely, this year's camping was a lot better than last year's because the campsite we went to a different campsite, and uh, it's. It's not it's not secluded, but it's not secluded from other people. But we had our individual little like um, place. It was kind of surrounded by you know trees. But I mean, we could see other people. But it was we had more of our private area, which I really really enjoyed. I'm gonna leave that on the side so it can start to be a little good. Okay, on here I'm going to add some chicken. Uh, sure. I did debang them and clean them out very good. Okay. And here I'm going to add some. How do you so her, How do you pronounce this? Adu, 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 adu. The following pronunciation is brought to you by pronouncenames.com. Andui. Andui. Okay. So I have some andui. That's not cute. Andui sausages. I think chicken, andouille sausage, and shrimp makes it a jambalaya, and of course Cajun sauce too. Uh, too. Okay, Cajun sauce, Cajun I don't mind adding a lot, so I don't mind spicy. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, so that's another thing. So I think like food, um, honestly, I think the best food I had for camping was uh, cup noodle ramen. Uh, we tried to make like soup and all, and I felt like we didn't we weren't prepared for that. And I think being at uh, camping, it's 
like the most simple and easy food it tastes the best. If I were to bring kimchi, like the, we made kimchi stew. And if I were to bring them next time, I think I'm gonna kind of prepare it better. Like put all the ingredients together so I can just dump it into water and just let it just boil. Other than that, um, we had pork. That was alright for me, honestly. It was good, but I think the ramen tastes the best for me. But I don't know, that campsite, like the campsite itself was very good, but like, it, it didn't really have much around it. It had hiking, but personally, um, it was kind of cool because we, we were able to go up high and see like the whole like the city and the forest. But it didn't even have like legitimate beach and I was just like, eh, I was kind of looking forward to that, you know? But it's all good, it was fun overall. But hopefully my next trip to campsite, but my hopefully my next camping is somewhere a little bit more wild, you know. And I'm going to add some diced tomatoes. You could add the tomato juice too, but I decided not to. Ooh, that was so good! Oh my gosh! I feel like you don't even add to that pasta. This one looks just gonna taste. Fine, you know. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have this like little mark right here. It's not like it's actually a scar. I burnt myself, and I'll tell you guys why in a second. Hold on. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm going to add, okay, let me just try the sausage. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Okay, a little bit more. Mm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I think I put a little bit of cream. Just like a little bit. Like that much. Oh, I think that's perfect. Actually, I'm gonna add the chicken. So skirt, and I have some penne, which I boiled in, uh, you know, water with some olive oil and salt. Wow, this looks so good. Definitely add more. So easy, huh? Going to lower this a little bit, and this is totally optional. It, uh, but I think I'm not sure if like the authentic ones add Parmesan cheese, but I want to just like a little bit, you know. I just like adding Parmesan cheese to any kind of pasta. Okay, that's good. Let's eat. And the chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 That is good. No, I'm gonna cut a little bit more. It tastes good. Yesterday, actually, I went to uh, Buca de Peppo. It's an Italian place around here. Buca di Peppo. Buca de Pe Buca di Peppo. But uh, we had a lot of pasta there. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope my pasta will taste good because you know I had a lot of pasta yesterday.
Oh, uh, and like, you could totally season it with salt and pepper to like the meat or like the vegetables, but personally, I don't think it was necessary because you know, Cajun sauce too. And like the sausage is very kind of salty, so I think it's it works out for me, but you could definitely add salt and pepper, but you know, like I don't really like salty things, and people say, oh, salt and pepper, they're just like seasoning, as in like they're, like, you know, it just brings out the flavors and all that, but personally, it gets just too much saltier for me. That's why I don't like to season as much. But it's, you know, obviously that's all up to you guys. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Wow. I think I'm gonna make some for my boyfriend lunch tomorrow. No, this tastes actually really similar to the one from Cheesecake Factory. It's pretty similar. Only thing is, um, they use the linguine. It's, it's called linguine. It's, I think it's linguine, linguine. It's not as thin as spaghetti, but it's a little bit like more flat. You know, they use like the different colored ones, which I got today. Mm. From my last video, last mukbang, which was the vegan one, uh, in that video, the topic was um, if you got, if you can be friends with your ex. And a lot of people actually said, actually, all the comments that I've read so far are that there's no way that I'm gonna be friends with my ex, or I want my boyfriend to like my partner, the someone whoever I'm dating right now. I don't want them to be friends with their ex. I, that's like the majority of the comments that I saw. on that topic but I do read a couple comments saying you know the fact that you dated that person and like you know how like that specific person came to your life it means that he like that person thought that it means that even though we break up I still want to care for them you know obviously like not as um the same way but the fact that they uh it just happened that way like they felt like it's like, kind of like a destiny to care for that person well, I saw a very interesting comment. I, I, you know, I read interesting thoughts. Because for me, when I read those comments, I'm like, oh yeah, that's so true. And then it, it does affect me a little, it does influence, influence me a little. That's why I've been enjoying all these t topics that I'm talking about in my mukbangs and asking you guys.
And some aloe, aloe vera drink. So before the camp, before I went camping, me and my this girlfriend, we decided to, you know, go together for grocery shopping. Well, you know, car talk is the best talk. Like, yeah, going to a pub, going to like restaurant talking to each other it was fun but I personally I believe that car talks are the best because literally no one else is listening to you and you know and there's no nobody yeah nobody else is in the car and what else are you gonna do but to talk you know so I really like that I, I asked her and I'm asking you guys so you're dating either you're dating or not <clears throat> the situation is that you're dating right now and you and your girlfriends and you or your boyfriends decided to go to like go travel go on a vacation <coughs> to like to... hold on yes I'm in. so what I want to ask you guys is you go you guys go on a trip Cancun Europe Paris you know Las Vegas so you guys are you left your partners back at home. And you guys are drinking, having fun, going to the club. And if you had the opportunity just to have like I don't know, just to like I just cheat on your partner. As in have a one night stand, dance together, kiss, I don't know, something that is considered as cheating would you do it? and obviously her answer was like no I would not like she said I had many opportunities before actually but she never did it so I like, oh really? and then obviously I told her what I would do um, things change for now but if this was me talking in college I think I would've because because I mean it sounds really bad and um, cheating is bad, but I even told my boyfriend I'm very bad with temptations. Like that's why I don't go. I don't like to go clubbing. I don't like to be surrounded by like new guys or new whatever because I don't trust myself. They know, and this is all college talking, okay? And if I say I was dating someone, we've been dating for a couple months, and let's say me and my girlfriend decided to decide to go to Paris, Italy, you know. And this really good looking model, whatever, decides to like, like talk to me, hit on me, you know. I feel like back then, it would have been really tempting for me to just kind of go along with it. Um, not that that ever happened. But right now, I think, I'm not even interested in like going clubbing or having girls night out. Or going on vacation just with girls. Like, I'm not very interested in that. Because I feel like if I want to go on a trip, I want to go with my boyfriend. I want to see beautiful, beautiful. I want to see beautiful things. I want to experience fun things with my boyfriend. You know, because he's my best friend and he's someone that I care about the most. 
I don't know, obviously I changed a lot. Because back then I'll be like, I don't care. I'll just go with my girlfriends and I'll just have fun. And I think right now, <clears throat> even if I decided to go clubbing or on a trip with my friends, I feel like no guys would be good enough for me. Not that, and I'm not saying that I'm too good for you. I'm like, um, you're not, like, not as in like, you don't meet my standards, but as in like, I can't, I don't really see other guys more than a guy, more than just another human being, because I feel like I'm just, my, the relationship I have with my boyfriend is good. It's very good. And he's a good boyfriend to me. And he's a good partner to me who I see future with. If it wasn't, I would even have introduced them to you guys, you know, on this whole YouTube. But, you know, honestly, like, just tell the truth. If, I, if it was back in college, I would have done it. I would have, if I was out of the country, yeah, I think I would have done something with some guy because... Okay, this is really, I know that some people will be like, oh my gosh, Kimmy, I didn't know you were like that. Well, I didn't know, I didn't think I would be like that either. You know, before college, I didn't know I would be that kind of a person, that kind of a girl. But guess what? College changed me. But meeting my boyfriend now, he changed me too. So. And. So you might wonder, so how come I never cheated on my ex-boyfriends? Like, you know, before. Because because I knew I didn't trust myself, I never made a situation like that. I never made a situation where like, oh, you know, like, I'm gonna hang out with a bunch of guys with my girlfriends, you know, like, so I'm gonna have my night, you know, you guys do your thing, you do your thing to my boyfriend. I never said that. Because I didn't trust myself. Like, of course it was tempting, but now it's not even tempting, like, I'm like, I don't even want to go. Maybe that's why, maybe because, because I was like that, maybe it was so hard for me to trust a boyfriend. But obviously not everyone is like you. Recently, but this um guy, Asian guy, <clears throat> was cheating on. So he was cheating with all of these like girls. I think at least five or more. He was cheating on this. There's like five or more girls for over ten years or something like that, and none of them find out. None of them knew that he was cheating because he wasn't even married to one of them. Then nobody, none of them knew that he was cheating on them. But the reason why they found out is because I heard he got into a car accident and then the hospital didn't know which one to call so they called everyone and all of them like, came to the hospital and realized that, you know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who is this bitch? <laughs> and um, I heard they did, when they found out, they decided they came up with this, like, they like, talked to each other and like stuff that like he did and like what he cheated on with and, because I heard that he never worked, but he always asked for money to these girls. That's why he lived. That's like, that was his living. He... 
he didn't work, he just asked a bunch of these girls for money, which was completely like it, which he was able to live off of. Live off of. I think honestly, when I see when I hear stories like that or see stuff like that, I think they enjoyed the game. So you're dating someone and you like really love that like that person, and but you cheat on the other person. Why? Like, is it because you want two women? Like, you do you want two? girls like what do you do you want to be dating two girls at the same time or is it because of that that just like whatever the feeling that gives you like you're doing something behind someone's back you're doing your just like the whole like the package of it you know what i'm saying like or like you know kind of being sneaky the fact that you're like doing something like what's that word it's like the thrill maybe of getting caught we just like enjoy that. I I feel like to me, I feel like that will be like that was the one of the main reason because because they wanna be with not only that like, they like that person more because obviously if they they want they know who they love more they should break up with the other person, but the fact that they're cheating they just enjoy that they enjoy doing stuff behind people's back. Oh. That's what I think. Yeah, that's my story. Uh, so let me know what you guys think and let me know if, what you guys would do. Let's say you go to like this amazing, beautiful country and you see this like guy who's your ideal, this guy, your dream guy, your like, prince that you always imagined. Like that he looks like what you, he like, physically like mentally and like personality whatever like it's exactly the exactly the guy that you've been wanting but you're dating like what would you guys do like is it that crazy of me to think that back in high school like i would have you know like kind of gone with the flow you know like what do you guys think because i i'm not saying that not everyone but i could i think mature lot like many people had moments where they were dating someone and they kind of wanted to like kind of see someone else i feel like i i not talking for everyone but i'm saying like i'm not i'm just saying that i'm probably not the only one right so i don't know i'm just gonna open it up a little but like there yeah so i'm just saying it's just another fun topic to talk about i want to know what you guys think and and what do you guys think do you think would you guys forgive the person if let's say like if my let's say like your boyfriend or girlfriend went uh this like a trip with their friends and you find out that she like made out with this guy um uh, and she comes back she doesn't tell you but you find out on your own like what would you do like would it make a difference if like she tells you if she confronts you and or um versus like you find out through like her friends like what would you guys do is there something that's forgivable because it's not like she had a relationship with them you know she just was in her <coughs> uh just under pressure i guess or she was just in the situation where it was so easy to cheat it was so easy for her to just have some kind of affair you know so um yeah let me know what you guys think thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye